timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step okay, aside. My daughter like to lay on top of me while I play this game. But it's okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Checking in right now. Coffee me little holy. Here we go, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a fucking a long game. Here we go. Upside. Long side. Left side. Oh, touchdown side. Sunny side. And why want with the best fried rice, my ballers. Fucking major. Stop it. Thought it driving me crazy over here. I jump for play on Madden game, honey. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Now that I put my daughter down in a boot, I can finish what I was doing when I started over here. And I get paid for playing my daughter, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, all right, fellas. Here you go, number four. Ready for fucking punk this fucker. How I down the fucking bloody field. Oh, little John coming in hot. Oh, swerving left, right, left, right, like a boxer. Straight from Y and I, boys. What's up? Oh, here we go, coming on defense. You see what the fucking Rams get in the arsenal. <laughs> and I never say arse, I say arsenal. Oh, you fuckers, here you go, boys. Oh, brother's running the fucking screenplay. Unreal, because guess what? That's not going to work in this country. That's not, that's not happening, bro. That's not happening, bro. I cannot let you do that kind of stuff, boy. <laughs> You know that kind, Suzy. You know that kind, giving the fucking Suzy from the overhand right with the swap. Overhand right with the swap team, boy. That's how we do it around here, cousin. You know what I mean? Watch him, Suzy. Oh, wide fucking open. Number seventeen gets his fucking socks knocked off. Wowzers, wowzers. See if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence you're getting. Oh, you fucking, I got that fucker. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep throwing that pass. I'm going to keep fucking slapping that ass. You know what I'm talking about. What's up, my bottles? Stick playing online right now. Against one brother named Kaikia. You know what? I don't think he Kaikia. Chuck stick all the way, my brother. Chuck stick, boo. Learn it. Learn it. Learn it. Learn it. It's going to run him, boy. It's going to run him. I told you, cuz. We're back to the city of angels. I just gotta After run them sometimes, you know what I mean, Ryan? Here we go now. Three, 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 all game, ladies and gentlemen, he be getting some crazy yardage, and I tripping on over here because brother over there, look, he stopped the run, and I just gonna keep running him. You know what I mean? Let's go keep banging him right the fucking gut. Oh, he fucking stopped me for one time. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? My brother's insistence. Like you're down. fucking mean playable. This fuck is unstoppable. Really you know what I mean? Today has been that day, but Nobody that in this whole fucking were, game of man is gonna ever stop this play. You know why? Because this fucking play is major. You know what else why? Because this fucker is major. See him. How I am? Oh, you got him, boy. Oh, you fucker, you sick, eh? 
Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to get any screens on me, boy. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day, or the next. You know what I mean? Fucking unreal, boy. Un fucking real. I'm about to think he's You know what I mean? He's unreal sometimes. Unreal. I'm fucking real, bro. Just go, I'm gonna fucking arm the current, bro. I'm gonna fucking invite some bloggers to watch this fucker. You know what I mean? Just cause, but just cause. Just cause, I'm just like, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's good fun, bro. Good fun, the kind. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We back in the broadcast. We are back in action. Okay, he doing play action, but guess what? Fucking interception! Maybe not, maybe not, boss. Maybe not. 14 10, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, that play you just did, a play action wide drag wheel. That fuck is a mean play, bro. You know, you just gotta fucking kind of execute. That's all. That's all, bro. Just gotta execute that fuck. That's a mean killer play. Can points for that fuck, though. Kill play dog. Here we go, boss. Here we go. Oh, fucking wide open. I'll come. Fucking on. First down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. In the red zone this time. Ran that quite a word for you after that completion for a first down. Lucky. I'm going to miss that one for a long time. Because he was open that one play, I think he opened again. He was. Holy oh, shit, Pop. That fuck was open, Pop. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here we go, here we go with this fucking killer play. The fuck was running ready for this fuck. Here we go. Sus! Cousin, cousin, cousin. And quickly they get to the line. Ball spotted at the four. It's Sus! Bobby, you're not gonna run him in on me, cousin. I tell you, you already know you're not gonna run the ball on me. That's some promise from, from the from the pool vai. You know what the pool vai is, brother? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Check it out. It's not happening over here. You're not going to score on me on the low line cross. You're going to kill the defense. Not a pick, bro. I must have picked that brother off too, you know what I mean? Now I want to talk, cuz when you play my defense, why? I run some tricky stuff, boy. You know what I mean? I run some tricky stuff, 
hard for get my defense to stay in one place. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hard, hard, push up. You found a hole, boy. And now oh, first down don't do that Adams again, because that hole not going to be there. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. <laughs> On first down, it's Cutler. He's got time. To the huh? sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Was that a receiver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. I think he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive, there he hits the reliable target. On first and ten, it's Cutler. And this will be incomplete. He was looking for Zach Miller, his tight end there. And it's second down. So incomplete on first, let's see what second down has in store. Second and ten, it's Cutler again. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And he was able to find a very soft spot in that zone coverage. I love that term, Brandon. That soft spot where you find the open area, set up, and catch the football before the hard collision comes afterwards. On first down, they run with Howard. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. The tackle that time by William Hayes. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Cutler to throw on second down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Give them five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. So third down, and defensively, the Rams have added two extra DBs. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Came up about a yard short, but I can't help it, Brandon. I love it when the big guy gets the football and he tries to battle his way forward. There's something about those guys carrying the ball and watching people trying to stop them. That's just great theater. They come out here in the eye. Cutler's going to keep it. It'll be a two-yard gain. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. For those vertically challenged quarterbacks, here's a time where they will tell you it's an advantage to be a little bit on the smaller side. Able to duck in behind their offensive line and stick the ball across the imaginary yellow line for a first down. Now Howard. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. This is Howard on second down. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. In motion, the tight end. From the gun on third down, it's Cutler. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. Cutler going to sneak it. Back now in Los Angeles. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. And a really 
long drive here, and it goes on and on. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Trying to punch it in with Howard. <laughs> and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. <laughs> and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Jay Cutler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Cutler now to throw, and they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Try and start the drive with Gurley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Set. Green, 39. Green. Number. Number. Here's Goff now on second down. And that's complete to Brian Quick. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. All right, here we go. 319. 319. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Slot man moves right. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. It was Mitch Unrein that made the tackle. And ready now for second and nine. They come out here in the eye. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Nine yards to go, it's third down. Throwing on third, gone. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Brian Quick, the intended target. Now fourth down. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Rams going for it on fourth. Go on. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. The Bears offense I'm now getting ready to take over. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Cutter gives it to Howard. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this.
So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. On second down, here's Cutler. This will be caught inside the 10. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. And he is going to loot. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and goal now from the eight. They'll try again with power. And he'll be stopped. And the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now it looks like they might be expecting a pass, an extra DB in on third and goal. That's how the game has changed. Now we think Pat... And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And Barth puts it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that, because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. <laughs> yeah, you fucker. See that, boy. That's clutch. That's called clutch, honey. See the clutch. You see the clutch, boy. And they'll get set here looking for the two point conversion. skills how about a linebacker he may have the size but he's not used to really covering in space that's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football and now chicago getting ready to go as they take the field one possession game <laughs> time very much a factor how does the offense handle this situation well in a lot of cases they should be somewhat relaxed and i know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation but this Shut is Friday practice down, every man. week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. See what I did. It's just their first. They've got two more to use Shut here in the final man. stages. Offense still needing 10 yards. Shut second down. down. Back 
to throw. Caught right side is Jeffrey. A nice gain of 21 yards. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll mm. make the tackle an out route. Mm. Wow. And oh, a crusher mm. there as it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. Mm. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the mm. football back. Oh, wow. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use it all the way through. <laughs> he was looking well, to get it to Kenny Green that time. And that'll bring up second down. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks to, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot it. So second and ten here. How I feel when I'm putting this like one down, do but he usually beats me to the chase. The I just got that touch. And uh, if any of y'all want it, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If anybody, like if your name was, mm, let's say, Kanoi, something, whatever. You know what I mean? 